Hey guys, Shawnee here. Welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. Now I told you in my last Amazon haul video, which I will link right up here, that I had so many more things that I wanted to share with you. But it just so happened that my amazing list of Amazon must have things broke down into like supplies and curriculum pieces. So I figured I would go ahead and separate those two things out before we had like a five hour long video. Um, and so this video is going to be about those curriculum pieces. Those things that we use literally as a curriculum piece in our homeschool day. So these are things that we have picked up which supplement our curriculum kits that we get from Timberdoodle. In a couple of instances, it actually replaces pieces from our Timberdoodle curriculum kits. So before we go any further, please scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate you guys coming and checking in with me today. As you know, uh, we've been using a science curriculum that I kind of piecemealed together from things that I found and purchased through Amazon. Now, if you would like to see a complete video on that, on um, what I planned, I will link that right up here. I will link that right up here. Uh, thanks so much for coming back. Guys, I am a little bit of an Amazon junkie. And if you've been homeschooling, um, you, it's so easy to fall down the rabbit hole of like amazing things that you need. Because there is something for everything and it uh, really sucks you in. So you know that it is so simple to acquire just a massive amount of things that you don't necessarily need. I'm gonna show you the things that I've acquired that I do feel like are actually quite helpful and um, kind of stand the test of time as far as usefulness. It's not just for a short season, but something that you can stretch into your entire homeschool career or at least a larger chunk of it than like half a grade. All right, guys, I'm just gonna start with our science. As you know, if you've seen those other videos on my science plan, we got this through Amazon. I will post the links to everything below. It's amazing and so far it's working really well for us. If you wanna see that plan in action, I will go ahead and link right up top right now. Same thing with this book we are using for our science. Now, something that you may not have thought about is a little money counting set. This has come in handy um, both to keep my toddler entertained and also to help my big girl learn different denominations of money, different coins, coin values, things like that. It's very helpful. Something we absolutely love and it's just fun to play with are pattern blocks. Now this is one of those things that does definitely keep my kiddos entertained. They love to show how things fit together, but also how some of them are smaller pieces of the nut of another one, how like two of these orange ones is one of these yellow ones. And they love to just design like large, pretty, pretty geometric shapes. So these are things that are very handy. You can use them as counters. This is my creation. It's very pretty, isn't it? And then you it's made out of these blocks. Those blocks literally made by me. This thing. As you can see there are like fans. Beautiful things. And I hope you liked it. Speaking of counters, these foam one by one squares. Now this was something that we needed. It really helped us out when we were using our Texas Tech curriculum, but they've come in handy so many times since then just to have them. We don't use these counters or these linking cubes as much for my big girl anymore because the Matthew C curriculum that we use does come with like specific integers on their own. So that is very nice. Uh, so that's nice. But these linking cubes have been very handy to teach Marilyn pattern and counting 
Um, same thing with Amelia. So that's been really, really nice to have is these linking cubes. Unifix maybe is the proper one. I don't remember. Uh, okay. I don't know if you guys remember these, but I know for a fact that I used them in grade school and they are so fun and so handy. So here's the deal. This year, her curriculum kit would have come with multiplication. We skipped that because we did not have, we had only used Temperdoodle for one year, so we had not gotten the addition or subtraction. So I found this entire set on Amazon and it also comes with like CDs of math wraps. And it is fantastic and amazing. And if you've not listened to a bunch of math wraps while jamming your mom mobile, then I mean, I don't even know if you're living, guys. You're probably just not even living. But these are so fun. So the way that they work is it's like these little keys and it has a very long string. And what you do is you start right here. So one plus two, so they'll have a theme. So it'll be like plus one all the way through plus 10. Same thing with subtraction, multiplication, division, and then fractions. And so what you do is you just answer. And so one plus two would be three. And what happens is once you've wound it all up and you're at the end, you can flip it over and make sure that your string aligns with these little lines so that you can be sure that you've done it correctly. So it's entirely self-checking. One of my absolute favorite things to do with these is to throw them in the car. And the girls will sit there and play with them in the back seat. And it's just, it's fun and they like to hold it and it's entertaining. And again, I, I got this specific set, uh, which I will have linked below because we, were, we would have missed these two and I thought it would be really good one for Amelia to review, but then also when we're ready for Marilyn. So got this set of all the ones they make and it's super handy. Okay guys, dot markers. These come in handy all the time. And so they're super awesome and I'm gonna link them below, but if you don't know that they exist, it's basically like a little paint, kind of like a marker, and it's really easy for especially the littler ones to use. Letter blocks. We use these, I let uh, Marilyn string them on a pipe cleaner for fine motor, and then Amelia can use them and string them on a pipe cleaner for spelling. Mad matter. Now, okay, so the the next few things that I'm gonna show you are things that uh, we either bought early as a gift or got them because we would have missed that in our actual curriculum kit that we were getting for the little one. So this is Mad Matter. It is like, it is like kinetic sand, but I like it so much more than kinetic sand. The texture is better, it cleans up better. Um, it, once you've played with this, kinetic sand is gonna be your least favorite because this is just so much cleaner, so much neater. We've destroyed the package quite a long time ago. So we just keep it in the back. But you can, it comes with a little mold. You can make your own bricks and then squeeze them out. Super amazing. Okay. Uh, so the Kumon company makes these little like fine motor books and came in a set. Let's cut paper. So you basically, it teaches them how to use scissors and she is obsessed with these things obsessed. This is her second book and you see how many she's already done. But this is one of those perfect things that helps keep her entertained. Uh, let's fold and you cut them out and then you fold and it reveals something on the front and the back. This is the first part of the math book, which she is actually using now that came in her timber doodle kit this, this year. We wanted to get her started early and so we got this uh, last year. Something else that is super amazing, uh, if you've not played with them, wicky sticks. These are basically pieces of yarn. It's like a candle wick, so it's like a piece of yarn that's coated in these wax. They stay wet and pliable, but you can bend them and mold them and shape them into any shape. And we have had so many of these over the years because they are actually a really great no mess toy. So it's a fun arts and crafts project, but doesn't leave a mess. She, Marilyn has actually been using these along with the wiki sticks boards that came in her timber doodle kit to form letters and make shapes. So it's super fun. Uh, highly recommend them. They're awesome. It's such a simple concept, but they're pretty great. Something else that I feel like has been really uh, handy to have here in our homeschool uh, that we actually use quite a bit are these little book lights. And it can hook on a page, it can bend, 
And then it's, it's actually a pretty bright little light. We love these. Uh, they come in handy all the time, especially if you want your kiddos to read, you can send them to like a dark closet or something and let them use the book light and it's really exciting. Our curriculum actually uses, um, I've mentioned the math wrap up CDs, uh, but we use Story of the World and it has, um, the way that we use that is we actually play the audio CD and then she'll read along. And the way that we do that, we realized that we needed, um, because who has one anymore, like an actual radio in their house. But we picked up this little bitty nugget. It's super cute. It will Bluetooth, radio, uh, CD goes in the top here. Um, but it was just, it's really handy to have. Uh, a surprising amount of things have a CD that go along with them. So it's been really great to have this. With this, I'm gonna tell you, recommend getting some headphones. Uh, you can get much cheaper ones that just plug in. We like these that are uh, Bluetooth and wireless. They come in handy and they go along really well with their tablets. This is really nice if either one of the girls is doing something with needing to listen uh, while the other one isn't. Kind of, uh, kind of can be a pain sometimes, but the headphones super come in handy. Also, tablets. I know there's a lot of debate on screen time, yay or nay. Uh, we use them in our homeschool. Some of the ways that we use them are we love, the girls' tablets are locked down. They're the ones that are, are made, the, the Amazon Fires, I think, that are made for kids. And so it comes preloaded with Amazon Free Time, which has been an amazing resource. You can also go in and put time limits and parameters and things like that to make sure that they're using it educationally and not just for fun. Um, but we can use this for ABC Mouse, Teacher Monster to Read, um, Khan Academy Kids. I mean, they love these things. And like I said, they really have become a true asset in our homeschool. They do not have unfettered access to them, but it is, um, you know, it, it is nice that you can lock it down and control what they're doing on there when they're doing it. I hope that you found anything here helpful, entertaining, or informative. Please scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I will have links to all of these products down below in the description box. If you um, have anything else for curriculum that you picked up on Amazon that you would love to share, please uh, share in the comments below. I love hearing about new things. I love finding out about new things. I just found out there's this whole new school of thought around homeschooling called game schooling and that sounds like it might be for me play fun games all the time and learn yes so please share thanks again guys